Carol here. Welcome to my craft room and welcome to our design team project for Tupelo Designs LLC for Monday. We're going to be using a 6x6 six six canvas and I'm going to do a decoupage slash collage in four different styles on one canvas. I thought this way you could pick out whatever style you like best to do a canvas on your own. And I love this because I've been saving eggshells. Yes, we're going to do an eggshell project. I think you're going to love it. But first of all, I need to find the center of this canvas, which will be very easy. We're going to use the Tim Holtz centering ruler. We know it's six inches, so we'll place each side at three inches and make a little score mark at the zero. As I get the center here, I decided instead of using a stamped image, I'm going to use a frame. I'm going to use a metal frame. That way I'm going to use the Ranger crayons works wonderfully on metal and here I'm making sure that I have the measurements for the picture frame right here because I know my metal frame will be around this size so I just measured around it so I had the exact center decided on the metal frame for two reasons one using this glaze and glue and grout it's going to look absolutely beautiful because the Ranger crayons will match on the metal the eggshells that we use the uh, Ranger sprays, distress sprays. They look beautiful together. So first we have to start with the grout and I chose to use this one inch silicone brush. It glides on the canvas beautifully. It is absolutely wonderful. You don't get any hairs off of a paintbrush none of those marks because it's silicone right and you're going to put a fair amount on here and you're going to leave a little edge around the corner and if you go this way just as i'm showing you here you'll get a nice ledge to put down a little frame and i think my frame is around three inches by three inches and i wanted to show you today decoupage or another word is collage and instead of using paper to get that pebble stone sidewalk effect I wanted to get, I decided to use eggshells. I've used this on other projects before. So I just collected my eggshells, washed them and let them dry, air dry. And now that we have this on reasonably thick and I'm able to put some back into the jar, I'm going to use my Dreamweaver metal. Um, this is for a stenciling. To rub across your stencils. It saves you on product and it's just about six and a half inches long. Perfect for this and look how much of that grout we're able to save and it just has a nice clean swipe. I love this three-piece set of collage medium because you get the grout, you get the glue to put your product on like your medium and then you get to go over it and bring that shine up with the glaze. So I'm going to use my Milwaukee heat tool and most of these products I show you today you can get at Tupelo's and if they don't have it and you want to get it, if you don't see it in the store, just leave it in the comment section and we will try our best to get it for you. So now I'm just going over it with my hand to make sure there's no rough edges and I thought you would really enjoy to see four different ways to do collage medium. And the one way is eggshells. So I put some of them into a little baggie, lunch baggie, took my rolling pin. I use this rolling pin just in my craft room. It's very light plastic and it's nice to use. And here I wanted to make them super ultra fine because one of the other techniques uh, that we're going to use, I need to have super fine eggshells. It just makes for wonderful texture. Look at that. We have a larger eggshell. Oh yeah, we're ready to go. We had a colored uh, cobblestone effect. I'm going to put the eggshells. I separated them to see how many colors I could get. And I'm using Distress Spray. And I'll list in the description bar all the colors. But it works perfectly because you're not getting a mass. I didn't put any rings, anything on because I knew I'd be working with a lot of inks and colors and sprays. So here I just put my hand down in, gave it a couple of squirts, mixed it all around on the outside of the uh, plastic bag and look at the colors. 
And on those eggshells, some of them still had the skin on them, which will give you two tones. You'll get a beautiful ombre effect with an eggshell. It's gorgeous. That beautiful silver, that Distress uh, ink spray uh, had the metallic silver. It's so pretty on the eggshell. So here you put a good amount of glue down. I did not uh, spread it. I just put it down with a paintbrush so that I would be able to get some of this uh, eggshell on there because some of it is uh, has that round form. So you're going to need a little bit of glue to hold it, right? So I'm grabbing, all the bags are open, and I'm telling you, when this is finished, it's absolutely beautiful. And if some of the egg skin is on one side, it's a deep, rich color. It's just beautiful. So you want to get that curved uh, egg uh, shape as well. And we have six colors going here. So I'm going to just take you from one stage to another. See how I took the paintbrush and just added it in little, I'd say, a half inch increments of, of glue. And I'm putting it down and then putting the eggshells so that the they're right side up and upside down. <laughs> they're all over the place. And don't they look gorgeous? And as you can see, just little bits of glue. Look at that silver eggshell. Oh, and you know what? You put this in the fridge and they keep forever. You can do so many projects off. I'll show you some really nice projects using um, stamps with eggshells. Just beautiful. I love the fact that eggshells have that concave look and they also have the rounded look. And you need to leave enough space so that it does look like a cobblestone walkway. And um, we're going to move along quite quickly here. But you can see in the picture that there's a fair amount of glue grabbing hold of these eggshells. And you'll get some of the eggshells with the skin on it. And see how it's much deeper on that blue one down in the corner. And then we're going to fill in. Instead of having the white kraut, we're going to use some metallic embossing, Dreamweaver embossing metallic paste to go in between the eggshells. You're going to absolutely love the end result here. Some actual Deco, it's collage paper because it has wonderful texture. Love collage paper. And it has sewn on images. See that right there? Isn't it gorgeous? And then you want to take your scissors and you, you can use any paper. And look at that beautiful color on there. And here I cut out all kinds of shapes because the second way we're going to do this, we're going to put down our um, grout and we're going to make sure it's dry. Then we're going to add, there's the grout. Then we're going to add the paper to the side. So each one, one inch, or it might be even two inches thick. It's quite thick. You're going, I'm going to show you four different techniques. Yes, but that don't care. Four. <laughs> yeah, it's late, but you know what? You're going to love it. And here we're going to use the metal embossing paste, the Dream Weaver. And we're going to use our wonderful little, um, these uh, micro brushes. That's what they are. My, and look at that. I'm putting out the Dreamweaver. Little spray of water with them. I'm using them right on the side. And you get a hundred pack of these wonderful micro brushes. I use them for everything, especially on alcohol inks. They're beautiful. And they come in three different sizes, the tips. So you want to get in between the eggshells. I don't want it to be white on the grout. I wanted it to be metallic because the frame is metallic. The frame is silver. So I thought, hmm, why not use silver to fill that in? And the Dreamweaver silver embossing paste is beautiful. Now look at here comes the glaze. You only want to put the glaze here on the eggshells by themselves and leave the spaces empty. I thought it would be fun for us to learn different ways to do collage. I haven't seen a lot of uh, collage style um, projects other than using paper. And I thought it would be fun to show you four different uh, mediums, four different beautiful textures to get this cobblestone look that we seek uh, when we're doing um, anything that's like a decoupage. So here I want to set it up on an angle, quite a big slope so I can work with it. And I'm using my collage paper. 
The only reason I use collage paper is because it has all the textures and so I bought that. It's in my stash and you can use any style of paper you have. One, doing decoupage, you get rid of a lot of your paper stash and two, look how beautiful it looks. So I'm going to get it down to every last bit of paper and we're going to move on to the third texture uh, decoupage and here I'm using these stick-on circles. They had a lot of glue on the back and they're almost like a sponge. Um, they were in my stash. They're just round circles. I cut them into all different shapes. You could use felt as well. Cut your felt up, your round felt, and use the glue. I didn't have to use glue on here because they're so crazy sticky. So I cut them into different shapes, put it on, and then I'm moving on to my next side. So now we have, th uh, this is my third side I'm using here. And I went back to using paper because I wanted to look like this uh, cobblestone uh, road. and But this one is going to be completely different than the other one because this is where we're going to bring in our uh, micro fine eggshells. Now I could have went with all eggshells so it all looked the same. But I thought, you know what, let's just mix it up. I wanted to show you different um, things that we have in our stash that have wonderful texture in them and you know I'm all about texture and I want to show you different ways to do um, decoupage or collage medium and the, here we just on the next one right here I'm jumping right into it I used silver and gold on the grout so I used both silver embossing paste and the gold it looked beautiful and that's in case we want to set it down and I wanted to leave it flat. So here's what we did. First of all, you want to put the glaze just on the paper. Let it dry for about five minutes and then put on, fill it full so that the entire structure is full of the glaze. And the reason I do one portion at a time is so that it doesn't slide off because if you do it all at once, it's just going to be a mess. But if you let one of it dry, one of them, uh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? And here I'm sprinkling on those eggshells. Now, wouldn't this look pretty if you colored it with Distress Stain? But I chose to leave it white so you could see through it. And here I'm just giving you different ways to collage, to decoupage. Uh, I don't know which word that is. Is it a collage? It is a decoupage. And here I'm showing you, you could put a lovely stamp in the center there and color it in the exact same colors. Or I took my bag of stashed flowers and I'm just showing you, look at that, you could match them with the same colored flowers. But no, 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 look at this. Silver metal frame with flowers. Beautiful. Now I want to make sure that I uh, put some glaze. This is Ranger Glaze. It's almost like a Vaseline. It's a protectant, and because this is kind of like a, um, these are like a um, sponge, I want to protect them. To get more texture in between here, instead of leaving it just the grout, grab your um, glue gun, and the glue gives you beautiful texture. And I just curved it in and out, in and out, made a few circles, and now I'm using the Ranger uh, crayons. I put it down on my mat, sprinkled it with a little bit of water. See there, I have red first, then the yellow, and then I mixed the two of them together to get me the orange. And then I'm going to put some green, use a little bit of the spray, and these crayons are beautiful. And I put green on the end, but yet when, I, when it dried, I just wiped it over because we put the glaze over top of those sponge circles, right? So it was protected and you didn't get any film on it. Don't forget that all these products are over at Tupelo's and the Mosaic Grout Glue and it has the um, glaze. I think it said glue glue. <laughs> it's supposed to say glue and glaze and grout. It has the numbers 1, 2, 3 so you know which ones they are. And the, the I'm going to use the Luster Gold here and I'm going to put all of these products down on my blog so you can just go to the link and find all of these over at Tupelo Designs LLC. The reason I chose the metal frame is because 
Distress crayons. These new ones work fantastic on metals. And especially if your metal frame has all of these uh, images on it. I have all these flowers, these tulips. And this pack matches the eggshells because we use the exact colors in the spray stains, right? So you're going to get a perfect match. And then once you get it all down on the metal frame, take a baby wipe and push it down into the beautiful textured metals. Gorgeous. If you want a set of, it's called Coming Up Roses, that have beautiful rose images that have the three stage where you do the one step, two step, three step. This W plus nine over at Two Blows is the set to get. It comes with a die. Beautiful. And with the My Favorite Things inks, I used the... Um, strawberry and I used the black licorice and first I put that uh, razzleberry on there and look how thick that foam is on the my favorite things they're so juicy they're wonderful and you can get those at two blows and I decided to go with the rose color and then the black because when you turn this around look how vibrant that looks and it actually looks like a watercolor and what I'm showing you here is Everything is in a three-step. I slide it in the frame, turn it around so that um, the stamped image is on the upper portion, right? And then I took a piece of paper, three by three, I just took it from my stash, and it looked like needlepoint, the paper I used. So it looked like these roses were actually needlepoint uh, stitched in there. I'm just showing you a close-up. See this? It's already marked which stages you use and it's called coming up roses this is a must-have for a flower set in your stash i love it each set like each stage comes in three so you're you're pressing it down three at a time absolutely beautiful has a vase stems every kind of leaves you want to have and i'm pressing it down because i put quite a bit of glue right there and look at that Tell me that does not look beautiful. Even We even used actually five different techniques on getting decoupage or collage. I wanted to show you how you can take a frame and just about use any textures and have it turn out beautiful. And we used the crayons, distress inks, the W plus nine coming up roses, and your eggshells, super fine. That, that beautiful grout, using paper to get the cobblestone, and you're even using foam dots. How sweet is that? Thank you for staying with me to the end here. We're going to cover the back of our 6x6 uh, frame. And now I took my bigger ink pads, and I grabbed Abandoned Coral, and I used, uh, let's see, Salty Ocean Pick Raspberry, Dusty Conquer, Rusty Inch, and the blue one there, and Dusty Attic or something like that. Whew, that was fast. And I went over most of it to save time, and then I grabbed the one bigger separate rose there on the set. This set has everything. It's gorgeous. Not only does it have three roses you stamp at one time, but it has separate sized roses. I mean, it's just beautiful. I inked them in the same colored inks as the eggshells were sprayed. And I wanted to show you these plastic um, bumpers. They're just round circles that are clear. And you don't have to have those. You just take your glue gun and your glue, make little circles. I wanted to have them uh, as the centers of my roses. Isn't that beautiful? And the paper had beautiful on the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to use some Wink Estella, some clear Wink Estella. You can get all this over at Tupelo's. Like I said, I will leave links to everything. And I just thought the back of this, being it's a six by six canvas, you just use your six by six papers, right? I put a fair amount of glue down to hold this. And here we go, make sure it's right side up. Yes, you want that remember to be at the bottom. There we go, just press it in and look at there. Absolutely stunning. And now I'm taking my new Wink Estella, about my fifth Wink Estella. <laughs> I go through them like water. I'm putting it over this little sentiment that says beautiful. And it came out 
way too much, so I grabbed a baby wipe, swiped it across, and it looked beautiful. This Coming Up Roses W Plus 9 set with the matching dye is a must-have. I love this set. It has large roses, small roses, three roses in one. It has a vase, leaves. What more can you ask for? It's absolutely affordable. You will love it. So there you have the back. We've added these beautiful um, centers to the flower with our glue gun and they look gorgeous and we have five different effects. Uh, well, different mediums to, to use. We use the W plus nine coming up roses in the center here. We just added a piece of paper that looked like it was on needlepoint and we did five different techniques, probably five or six actually. I love the eggshell technique for decoupage. I love this grout set, everything about it. And thank you, Jane. I certainly do appreciate you having me here as a guest design team member. And uh, we're going to miss Tupelo. And here you have a close-up of all of the ways I showed you we can use this medium. And have a blessed week. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel. And press the like button if you liked it. And I thank you for subscribing. And... Check out Tupelo Designs LLC. All the links will be over on my blog. I will post a direct link there. Thank you so much, Jane. Have yourself a blessed week, everybody.